Hello and good morning. So we are about to start um, our journey from around Bunbury area all the way back to Bendigo. So um, we've just been working over here near Perth for a couple, or for a week or so, and we're about to drive back. So just packing up the van from our first stopover, um, and we're about to head into Bunbury, which is about half an hour away from here. Um, and I wanted to take you guys with us slash me for memories, um, but. It's going to take us probably a week or two because we're going to go nice and slow. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. I'm probably going to break this into a few different vlogs so it doesn't get super long. Um, but yeah, take, I'll take you along for the journey. Bye for now. <laughs> Toast picking out his golf clubs to do the Malibor golf course for that shop we just found. We have approximately five, three minutes until we need to leave because we went to our next thing. Toke is under the pump. Now he's knocking them all over. Do you want a sock? No, I don't want a sock. Which one do you want? So we arrived in Bunbury this morning, um, went to church quickly, then went out to lunch at the Dome, which is a very popular restaurant in WA. Um, then we went to a taffy shop, which sold us a taffy when a weird old guy told us a weird story. <laughs> um, and then we went for a little walk, saw an awesome cool statue of an indigenous man. Um, and now we're about to go to Marston Hill Lookout, which is apparently meant to be pretty cool, and maybe check out a lighthouse, because Toph thought it was cool because it was black and white. <laughs> reading about the bus, the timeline of the buses and jetty. In 1868 the jetty was first really made. It was identified as needed a bit before that but it started at 176 metres long and then like every couple, couple of years, three, five years, they added like 100, 200 metres until it was at like 1300 metres at 1907 and then skip a bit, eventually got to the 1800 metres. Uh, and then in 99 there's a fire that destroyed a bit of it but they rebuilt it. There's now an observatory that is 13 metres deep. 13 metres deep underneath there and eight and a half metres wide. Water, about 1.6k down the jetty. <laughs> I suppose when it's 25 minutes you need it, so... <laughs> We 
just had dinner over there in our caravan park, about 300 meters over there. What was that, Toph? The sound is pretty good. This is true. Oh, this is like a giant lobster thing. Squid. Squid. Okay. So this has been our camp spot last night. We've already started packing up so you can't tell, but I will give you a tour maybe tonight when we've set up properly. But I wanted to show you Toph filling up our drink bottles because this is our Camelback, which is a branded drink bottle collection. We just bought this new one yesterday because I wanted a cute little one to fit my backpack. And we think that we're probably a little bit insane, but they do the job. <laughs> uh, they're really good to use. They're really good. And they, we've already, we found this one and we found this one. And then we've probably both lost about two or three each. So look, we've given a good amount of our money to Camelback, but they serve us well until we lose them. <laughs> at Lake Cave um, which is past Margaret River so we went to Margaret River for them shopping and some lunch and now we're just about to start our tour of Lake Cave which is pretty spectacular I'm looking forward to showing you the footage from this So we've just arrived at Beetle Lop, or not Beetle Lop Falls, um, but it says we have to pay for parks registration. I want it to be known that there are zero other cars here and no one will know if we pay or not, but we're going to pay because we are good humans. The whole $13 for our vehicle <laughs> for a 300 metre walk to a waterfall. This is what the view looks like from high on top of Toph's shoulders. Sorry for the bumpiness. <laughs> Oh, 
What's about to happen, Jackie? I'm going on a stupid bridge. And Toph, just for your record, you cannot jump or sway. Do not jump or sway me. Toph is about to climb the bicentennial tree and he is beyond pumped. <laughs> Sorry, it's flurry. Off he goes. This is the last I'll see of my husband. No, it's not. It's safe as housing. It's got wire. It's going to stop you falling over. You just get a big wedgie. I feel like you could fall through one of those gaps pretty easily. No. Anyway, be fun. Um, I feel like I should take this, but I feel like I don't. It's not, it hasn't stopped and pelted yet today. You're not going to take that long, are you? No, and there's shelters on the top. Oh, you're not going up the top, are you? <sighs> Bye, love you. Love you too. Please be slow. Sorry, Carolyn, Tope's mum. There was no way I could stop him doing this. How far are you? It's ready for me to zoom. <sighs> Too far. He's getting a little bit more nervous now, he's just told me. But he's still got so far to go. Not a bad view from up here. Lots and lots of trees. It's pretty cool. I probably should keep going. He's almost at the top now. Sorry for the shakiness, I'm so zoomed in. There he is, the lookout's just above him. So, I've reached the top. There's this little roof on it. There is a hole there. I'm assuming maybe rescues, maybe not. But yeah, we made it to the top. I'll flick around the camera, I'll give you a bit of a view. Quite nice out there. Where are we, dear? We're on top of another tree. We're into a different tree. And Toph's like, climb this one. So I climbed it, and now I want to go back down. <laughs> 53 meters. Mm. There's a bit of a view out there. So it's now the next day from the big tree climbing stuff. I wasn't really up to vlogging yesterday afternoon as I was still a little bit uh, off beat from climbing the tree. I think, I don't know what happened. It wasn't ridiculously scary, but I felt a little bit trapped and I knew that I had to climb all the way back down to get to safety again. So, um, but we did all right. Um, we kept on driving, ducked into some cute little places, but the weather is not so great right now. So we didn't really do too much interesting. We've now, we arrived at Parry Beach last night, which we paid for a little campsite, um, which we filmed like one little clip of. Um, but like right now, Toast just having a shower before we go. And there's like the beach just there and our campsite was just over there. So um, that was pretty cool. It's a shame for the weather. It was like raining and windy and blowing gales. But I'm gonna finish this vlog now before we head over to Sterling Ranges and a few other places, do a granite skywalk thing and um, continue on for the next few days. So thanks for joining us um, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.